I'm excited in this week's video. I've got something new to show you and we're also gonna be looking at a new technique. So let's get down to it. So what I wanted to share with you today was this new paint tray I've created. I've made it out of Foamex, I've glued some sides onto it and I've sealed it all the way on the inside edge so any paint that goes in this won't seep through the edges of this tray. It'll also allow me to tilt it up so I can run some paint and it will also allow me to hook it onto a wall so I can take a photo of the finished piece at the end. And today we're going to be looking at a new technique, we're going to be using some squeegees to create a painting. So to recap, to start with, you haven't actually seen this process, I've mixed up a colour and that's just some black and I've chucked in some of this yellow orca, mixed it up with uh, a little bit of white as well and really sort of spread this out around the perimeter of the piece. So that was dead simple, I didn't actually record that piece because it wasn't really much to it. I'm going to be using some really sort of watered down blacks and some whites and I'm going to be watering down this sort of unique blue that I've mixed up. I've also added in the mix some of this Floatrol which will allow the paint to run a little bit more easily. Like I say in all my other videos, the process is dead simple. You can follow along, you can go out and get your own squeegees. These were just in the pound shop or if you're in the US, the dollar store. If you're new and just stumble across this video, I'm James, this is Flowworks and we do an abstract painting every single Wednesday at 8pm UK time in which I record and document every single piece of art I create. So the technique with the squeegees isn't something new. There's plenty of other YouTube people out there using squeegees to create paintings with. I just haven't actually had the chance to have a go. So what better way to share that experience with you at home and to see how I get on. If you're watching this and thinking, yeah, I'd like to give this a go, just give it a go. Half of the battle is thinking, oh, I want to give it a go, but I don't know whether I've got the patience or I've got the technique all the time to actually do it well just literally give it a go and you'll be surprised what you can come up with looking back at my videos that i've documented over the past year i think there's definitely an improvement in there and it's also sort of learning how the paints actually work on the canvas as well it's something that you really sort of need to practice at over a period of time you'll actually start to enjoy some of the actual pieces you paint let's get down to business let's start painting and follow along with this one at home Right, this is some black paint that I mixed up a little while ago. It's still really good. Add in a little bit more water in there. And some of that flow troll that will really make it easier to flow. Really sprayed up the canvas as well, just to wet that. I'm just gonna pour this out in the middle. Right, let's give this a go. I came from the mud, desert on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Quick first impressions with the squeegee. I noticed that you don't really get paint coverage across the whole squeegee, it sort of bends in the middle, so you've got to apply the pressure to really get that paint moving down. It isn't a deal breaker, it's just something that you've got to get used to. But I do like the way it leaves these trail marks as well of the actual paint. You can sort of do your marks vertical as well as horizontal as well, so that's quite good. Okay, I'm quite happy with the marks that it's left I do want to sort of clear up an area around this sort of section. In order to do that, I'm going to really wet the canvas and I'm going to start dabbing it with tissue. It's 
gonna see if I can get a little bit of run on that to go up. I just wanna go in about there and clean this up. Already by this technique, I love this dark section. I love this little spiral shape it's created. Right, I'm just going to go in this middle section here with this balloon. Definitely liking the effect it's giving at the minute. I'm just going to blast some paint in the top here. quickly speed up the drying process in a couple of these really wet patches so I'm just going to use a propane torch. I want to introduce a third colour into this piece but really really subtle it will be there if you see it um, but yeah let's try and sort of hide it a little bit. I'm going to give that sort of a couple of days to dry and we can come back on the second session to end this painting and already I can sort of picture how we're going to finish this one. If you got this far in the video, thanks for sticking around. Keep watching because I haven't finished this and just while I'm on the subject, please give this one a like so far if you're enjoying this art and subscribe. Back again the following day, that's pretty much dried overnight. Some areas still a little bit wet but we're going to work with that. I mixed up some white paint that is actually quite runny. And I think we're going to go in with a section down here of the white.
So I've really wet that and what I'm going to now do is try and pick up a lot of this white paint. Okay, really like that effect with the white dabbing away the paint sort of really helps. I now just want to add a little bit more contrast detail into the piece. So I've mixed up some black and some dark blue and I feel as though I want to chuck in a line down here which will sit over some of this white as well. Ain't trying to lay low, peep the shine Cup the bow and my old skin, peace of mind What's mine is mine, what's yours is yours These bars hit every match, a homie kill them in force Like the 18 Beatles and every receipt They can't forget me, plus the trinity I believe and I'm breathing That paint works really well because it's really nice and thick I just want to stick another section in here with that This right here is me, unapologetically Jack black and free I ain't trying to be what they want me to be Scared of the wind, following all the trends over backwards, that ain't the way I've been gone I'm going to let that dry off again and then come back and I think I'm going to finish off this area down here and possibly add a little bit more detail in this section and in this section but overall happy with the contrast but overall I'm happy with the way this one is looking with the two-tone contrast as well. Lost track of the forest through the trees forgot what I was chasing been so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. Everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind. Really, really happy with this one. The colours, I think, look amazing. I know the name that I'm going to call this one already. I'm going to call this Superhero. So I'm really pumped and excited how this one's turned out. I absolutely love the dark blacks, the blues, and then the highlights of these reds and this sort of white section that appears over there. So give me your views, give me your thoughts. Comment down below if you like this one. All that's left for me to do on this one is take off the tape. I will mount this onto a canvas and I'll sign this one and hopefully this will go to somebody's home. Next week again will be completely different to this but just a qu quick recap, the verdict on using these squeegees. I definitely recommend it. You can, I mean this line that I placed in all the way down here was dead easy to sort of guide that paint down and, and create that mark. Even using these marks really work well. I think you need the paint to be a little bit more watery in order to squeegee the paint about but yeah highly recommend these i've definitely been using them and as i say you can do this at home you can paint something as abstract as this that looks ultra modern for your living room until next week have a great week and i'll see you in next week's flowworks what do you